Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. I have the most watery eye today, sometimes when I'm doing my makeup. This just happens and it's like the worst thing because I'll basically cry my eye makeup straight off. I don't know how I manage it, I don't know if I get like a bit of concealer in my eye. I'm not sure what it is that I do. It's Monday. This is a fresh week, which hopefully is gonna be so much better than last week because if you watched my last vlog, if you haven't seen it, I will link it. I had the worst week and now I've had the weekend and I'm like really refreshed and things are like on the up. I don't even remember what happened. Like my brain is actually blocking it out. It is a fresh week. I had a lovely weekend. It was very relaxed. If you watched the last vlog, you'll know so i'm gonna like move on i'm also really looking forward to today i'm really positive vibing it because i really want the item that i've ordered for the kitchen to turn up or items i really want them to turn up today i won't be surprised if they don't because my order doesn't say it's in transit yet but it's estimated delivery is today so i'm kind of like allowing myself to get excited but also not allowing myself to be livid if it doesn't turn up and as long as i get my hands on said item i will be so happy where is my brush so there are two chairs that i wanted for the kitchen for three months now and they've always been out of stock and being the obsessive human i am i continued to check the website every single day for the next two months but anyway i really wanted these chairs for the kitchen and it got to the point where i was looking at other options there were some other ones that i liked that i could make look a similar vibe even down to like the little armresty bits but it was like double the price and then it was from a brand that i don't know if i'd have to pay fees on due to brexit i was very close to doing that or just like waiting a million years to get something off made.com which i didn't really want to do love made.com but sometimes i'm not patient enough for it it depends on the item if that makes sense yeah so basically wednesday having the worst day literally was like crying at the kitchen island just sat there working and crying just had a, like a five minute break where i decided to refresh the zara website and it was there it was there it was the zara home website specifically this is like the universe leveling out this week so i actually did also order it as a guest but then applied it to my account so i don't know if it's actually gonna send me a text who even really knows at this point so it's a surprise but either way, I'm looking forward to today. This is like the, the longest story time ever and I'm so sorry, you're probably so bored. Either way, I'm looking forward to today because the Meghan Markle and Prince Harry interview with Oprah goes up tonight in the UK. Everyone else has already like streamed it via like random streaming services. And uh, I was not staying up that late last night because <laughs> I wanted to be fresh for you guys. So I'm watching it tonight and I am so excited. But yeah, I could go on for hours about how livid I am about the way our media treats women but i won't because i want to have a zen monday but anyway the great monday that i am about to have aside i am also feeling really good at the moment because i felt like i've been in a little bit of a like covid obviously not helping anyone we all feel like we've been in a limbo for a long time just personally with a lot of things in my life i've really felt like i've been kind of in limbo not really sure what's going on just there's been a lot of like well if i do this then maybe this or maybe like lots of maybes lots of what ifs but over the past i would say like couple of weeks things have really started to kind of slot into place there's been conversations that i've had that i just wasn't even like planning on having i'll explain more in a bit because that sounds really vague but especially in relation to the house for a long time now i've been very like well you know i have to think about this and i don't know what's going to happen with this and lots of ifs and buts because obviously i bought this house on my own and ryan also has a house and we both have like a decent amount of space and bedrooms but not really enough for both of us considering we both work from home and essentially need like at least one working room each for various things and i've always been very aware of the fact that we were going to need to decide what to do at some point and right now oh god am i gonna be able to do this and talk to you and up until recently it always been like a kind of yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see and we kind of didn't want to make any decisions due to covid so for a little while now i've kind of felt quite up in the air about what to do and i've been really worried about like certain aspects of life like when you work for yourself buying a house and like mortgages are just a crazy ball game I know they're crazy anyway, but it's a lot and you really need to like think about it quite far in advance really. So my brain has just been kind of in override for a really long time and it's so hard to have this very serious conversation and do my eyebrows at the same time. <laughs> I'm about to have an absolute meltdown doing this. I need to like 
really think of the words for you guys and I'm trying to do my bloody eyebrows. This one just always looks so much fuller. I think it actually is just literally fuller. It always looks so much darker. Okay, we're gonna leave my crazy brushed up eyebrows to set and I've just dropped my eyebrow brush, so there is soap on the floor. So there's always been certain things to do with my house that I've been like, should I do that? I just don't know because I don't know if I'm going to be here long enough, but like COVID, just ruining everyone's lives, blah, blah, blah. And I spoke to my parents the other day and my dad was like, just extend the house. Just extend the house. I'm really paraphrasing what he said because obviously just extend the house. Like extend the house is a big deal. But yeah, basically we have come to the decision that it makes sense both long term, shorter term, just in terms of like life. It makes sense. It's always been something that since I viewed this house, we kind of hypothetically talked about. I know in theory where like the staircase should be and everything. But yeah, we talked about it. Everyone is on board. It's mad, but I'm really excited as well. It won't be for a while because that is gonna take some real coordination. It's really gonna push my project management skills to their limit, I think. Like I'm a good project manager, not a doer, a project manager, but I'm good at like organizing this kind of thing, but this is really gonna push me to like my limits I think. It feels so weird actually saying it out loud to someone that's like not my family or friends. But basically the reason I am being very like open because I could just wait until like I do it and then tell you guys. But the reason that I am telling you guys early is because I know there are so many people that will have been through this process. And when I say extending, I mean like going up, not out. But I know there are so many of you that will have been through this process. So especially if you live in a bungalow, for example, if you have done this, I would love to know your experience of it. If anyone has like architect recommendations, I would love to hear it. Cause obviously I need to speak to the professionals and get my budget in order, like work out how much and when it's possible and just all of that good stuff that's gonna absolutely like send my brain into overdrive but yeah if you have any recommendations of people experiences like am i going to need to move out is like one of my main questions like can you live in a renovation like that because that is a very vital factor i think in terms of like the when i actually am like shaking telling you this and i don't know why it just feels like such a big deal like it's a really big project to kind of take on and to actually like say it out loud it just feels like wild <laughs> the kitchen and hoovered the floors just in case the new chairs do decide to turn up today i wanted all of the floors to be like nice and clear but i also have just had a delivery from and other stories which i thought i would show you quickly are you ready look at that it's so satisfying to touch i don't know why <laughs> this cardigan is just gorgeous they very kindly let me pick out a few bits off the website and this is just crazy cardigan of dreams i love it i also picked up two really beautiful lace dresses you can't really see this one very well because it's black. there's also a white one as well and that's really really beautiful and then we also have this kind of blue knitted top which i thought was really really cute would look cute layered under cardigans but also layered over like a white shirt so this is the white dress i won't even bother showing you the black one up close because it just won't show up on camera but you can see the lace detailing and the frills it's basically like a broidery on glaze kind of dress hopefully will be a good length on me not really sure i don't think i've had many dresses from and other stories i don't think i've had a couple but not in this style where there's like no tie waist or elasticated waist or anything so we'll see how we go but i just thought this was really gorgeous and it's quite thick and obviously long sleeved so i thought it would be a nice spring dress especially like the black one would look gorgeous with like black boots like chloe bag that kind of vibe and then we have these gorgeous strappy sandals with a block heel in this lovely it's almost like a neutral yellow if that makes any sense at all it's like a really muted pale yellow it's so beautiful and then the same in this lovely like tanny blush tone really really lovely i think these will pair perfectly with jeans i think these will be a really versatile 
little purchase. These I can't wait to wear with my pastel like pale yellow cardigan, that kind of vibe. I think that would look so lovely with like some blue jeans or even white jeans. So that is my little and other stories haul. I'll do a little try on clip for you now of everything. Let me know what you love, what you don't love. I personally am really like emotionally attached to this cardigan. That and the yellow shoes I think are like my top favourites but we'll see when they're on. So little cute pearly cardigan this is the kind of overall length of it but i personally really like it tucked into these high-waisted leggings these are my zara stirrup leggings lots of you if you've been watching the videos lately will be familiar with them and then rolled up underneath at the back so it sits at a really nice kind of point like a really nice groove in my back and then the leggings are the feature from the waist down i guess also paired it with the little sandals which i really like i've actually just filmed a reel of this outfit so if you want to go watch it i will link it but yeah i really love this outfit it's so cute so so cute the shoes are super comfy they have an elasticated back to them which when i first put it on i was like oh this is a little bit snug but as i'm wearing it it's loosening up not to the point where i think it would get too loose but it's becoming more of a like comfortable secure shoe rather than feeling like quite tight to begin with but i really like these shoes they're like a perfect heel height for me i personally really enjoy wearing heels i'm very small and i like to add the little bit of extra height so i'm very very used to wearing heels on an everyday basis i know that's not for everyone but these are a really lovely everyday height for me i could walk around in these really nice and easily so i'm very much looking forward to trying the more like tanny blushy tone pair on as well but these work really nicely with like the white creamy kind of knit then this is the blue knitted top it feels very 90s maybe because i'm wearing it with these like black trousers that have a slit hem but i really like the top and i think i wear it with predominantly black yeah i think this will predominantly look good with denims it's that kind of like denimy blue so i think pairing them together and having the different textures is really lovely maybe a white like a white jean i think this would look gorgeous with i have a few midi skirts which i normally pair tops like this with but they're more creamier tones and i don't know if they vibe together but this would actually look really lovely with like a black midi skirt i think as well yeah it has a really lovely fit it feels really like secure but not too tight and the straps are actually a really good length for me as well like nice and stretchy though so i feel like they will fit most people but it's really nice not to have like too much excess so yeah really cute looking forward to styling this up over spring so this is the black dress which i love and it has been a long time since i found a black dress that i love for spring i mean like you know i always find like cute let me shut this shutter cute little black dresses in like the winter that are very like eventy you know like occasion wear that kind of vibe but i very rarely find like the perfect spring dress that is black i normally go for white and then it always feels a little bit more of like a summer vibe there have been a couple of cute ones on asos but they've always been a bit too like frilly whereas this is that perfect like it's got a little bit of lace and it's got some kind of frills there but they're not statement you know and they're not like taking over i paired it with my asos croc square toed boots which i just love and i've also paired it with my black waist belt which is quite thick and it's really helping to bring it in a little bit because without it let me show you it is a little bit longer and i did with both dresses i kind of knew that i would probably belt them at the waist which is why i ordered them and i kind of took the risk because i knew that i would want to belt them at the waist but yeah otherwise they're a little bit smoky i think you can just about see there's a little frill here and then it just falls straight which i don't know if that is my vibe it's actually not bad but as you can see it then just hides my knee a little bit and what the belt does is it just brings it in ever so slightly so it hits at that perfect like knee point but yeah i'm really happy with this really really happy with it i really like the what would you call this like ruching folding over the chest and that is because it gives you a lot more coverage here so if you are someone that likes to wear kind of like bras that aren't too like heavily padded and too sheer this will just give you a little bit of extra coverage in terms of like not being completely see-through if that makes sense it's got a zip up back which was really easy to do up actually you know sometimes you get a bit stuck in it didn't so very happy with this i'm interested to see how the white is in terms of like how see-through it is because obviously the black is just great it's not see-through at all so let's see how the white one goes okay so i've just styled the white dress up in the same way that i styled the black one just for ease and as you can see it is definitely more see-through i've actually left my black underwear on underneath as well just to really give it a good road test so you can see exactly how see-through it is i always feel like the dark underwear really like gives it away and gives you an idea of not only how see-through something is but how thick 
the material is, if that makes sense. So it's not crazy, but it's not great. I would actually say, I think the dress has more of a lining up the top half than it does the bottom half, which I think is really interesting. It would have been great if it was underlined because I think then this would actually just be a lot thicker, but it's definitely not as sheer as other high street retailers where you can literally just see everything through the white dress. So yeah, nude underwear definitely needed with this, but it's not super, super, super thin. This is it without the belt. I actually think I prefer the white dress without a belt. What do you think? And these are the tan blush toned shoes. They're really lovely and really highlighting to me how much I need to fake tan my feet. So I'm gonna do that this evening. <laughs> but yeah, I love them. I really like the fact that they don't have any straps here. It really helps to elongate the leg. I think they're really pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna stop filming my feet now and I'm gonna go have a hot cross bun. goodness. What's on the menu tonight, chef? Tonight we have got vegan Richmond sausages, Ooh. we've got a mustard spring onion and cheese mash with some kale and broccoli, of course. Will you marry me? You're not allowed to answer. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone is very impatiently awaiting her dinner. Look at that face! <laughs> She's like, feed me woman! <laughs> Brian's just told me that I'm not allowed to propose to him on camera in case you read into his facial expressions. <laughs> I was thinking it as I said it, but it made me laugh. Because I, I, like, yeah. I think every time you talk about food. What are you doing? You look so small. <laughs> I really love gravy granules. That's your dinner now. because the one drip of caffeine that I have a day is enough. So this morning, I had a very chilly awakening. I got up and I realized that my heating and hot water wasn't working. I kind of thought it was really cold when I got up. We went to bed quite late as well because I watched the Meghan and Harry interview. So I know that the house was like super toasty when we went to bed and yeah, at some point in the night, the heating and hot water like lost pressure and I managed to fix it by myself. I was very proud, even my dad was like, Proud of you. But that was not the nicest awakening. It was me realizing when I was like rinsing off my retainer that the water was ice cold and just me kind of scurrying around the house like, doom, doom, <laughs> what do I do? That was how my morning started off, but it's blue skies. I've been for a walk with Laura and it was really lovely. I always feel like the day starts off really nicely when we do that. So yeah, it's been nice. And now I'm just feeling really good because I like feel like I've been personally productive. And as I'm getting older, I'm really appreciating the personally productive days more than anything else. Like they are a rarity, but a priority. And yeah, I'm feeling good. And hopefully, hopefully the chairs are coming today. I'm really scared that this vlog is just gonna be like four days of me saying the chairs should be coming today. I genuinely don't know. But I did get an email last night saying that they had been dispatched. So I'm assuming today is gonna be the day because that's normally how it rolls with Zara home. So fingers crossed. I really can't wait until my mum is allowed in my back garden so we can do my gardening together. I've kind of been saving it up for her, but I'm literally sitting here. I'll show you. I need to work, guys. I actually went out there and did a little bit a few weeks back and it's just gone back to the way it was. Look at it. It needs 
real TLC. Up here, you can't really tell, but I, I can see it. There's so many leaves. I had that swept and scrubbed the other day and it is just back to normal. Very annoying. That tree that's above, I love it because of the privacy and it's it, the greenery is really lovely, but it does drop a ton of crap on my garden. <laughs> yeah, very much looking forward to getting out there and getting all of this sorted because this is an absolute state. Sorting out my veg beds. We're really excited to grow a lot of stuff here this summer. I'm also excited to kind of start the plans for the garage. Garage? What do you say? Garage or garage? I really want to start looking into whether it's possible to convert this into like a really cool summer house. We shall see. We shall see. I'm not sure at the moment, but I think in the future, I'm kind of just like working out my budgets for everything at the moment and really like future planning. Yeah, the greenhouse will go and hopefully I'll be able to kind of have some kind of doors there, but in a very Susie chic kind of way not just like some crummy doors yeah i can't wait to get out here i can't wait for my mom to be allowed in the garden so we can just like have that quality time together i also can't wait to redo these doors hopefully at some point this year but yeah, i'm hoping to go for something that is a little bit more modern which kind of works both with the garden but with the kitchen in here as well this kitchen has actually grown on me so much which is surprising i still think that once it's like had its day i will be raring to go and redo it but yeah i'm actually really enjoying just kind of styling it up a little bit at the moment and i'm excited to get this area here looking a little bit more full so hopefully today is like step one of that and once the chairs are hopefully in have i said that they're chairs did i say that i feel like i said that I'm not sure now. Once they're in, I can start like looking at the right size rug for it. I really want to get a rug to go down underneath. I mean, I feel like I'm just spoiling it because I was going to tell you all of this when the chairs were actually here, but I'm in a chatty mood, so I'm going to tell you now. Yeah, a rug, maybe a little table so that we can kind of sit and look out at the garden and especially when the kind of doors are a bit more modern. Yeah, I'm just really excited about all of the plans at the moment. I feel like they're not going to come off for such a long time because you need to obviously have so many things in place first so like all of the people all of the money but i'm really i'm feeling very settled at the moment i like after having moved so much i really am happy with the decisions i'm making in terms of like just really committing committing yeah i'm gonna get on with some work now because i'm really procrastinating i will be back with you hopefully this evening when the chairs have arrived bye i'm gonna you like this snazzy dining table. <laughs> Ryan has been so excited about this for so long I could not show you. <laughs> tonight. So today we have got uh, oyster mushrooms, we have capers and parsley, chilli and garlic, um, pasta and creamy garlic sauce. More garlic. Delicious. <laughs> Did you say broccoli? And broccoli. Broccoli. And dobles as well. Yeah. Mm -mm. Although our cheese is leaking but they look almost ready. Mm. It's so good. This is so garlicky. This butter is also in this spinach. Good thing we're not seeing anyone else tomorrow. Or the day after. Or the day after that. Or the day after that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning to my adorable loungewear. <laughs> Seriously, how cute is this? Also, how cute is this? I cannot tell you how long I've waited for this. I've been waiting for these for over a week now. I think they actually ended up being shipped from maybe the Spanish warehouse because it took a long time but i'm gonna crack on i'm gonna get into the boxes i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you i'm so happy Weren't these 
it's just a real treat to get out of the box which you can see is still there those boxes were like super glued together normally i would unbox everything with you but that was not happening but my chairs are finally in i'm so happy with them i'm basically standing in the garden because it's the only way i can get back far enough to show you because they are huge but what i would love to have is some kind of little coffee table in front of here this is just kind of me throwing the chairs together i'm not really sure if this is how they will stay they might face each other i might add like a bench kind of opposite and have them facing a different way i might have them against the wall i'm gonna play about but i have been waiting for these chairs to be in stock for so long i'm so glad i finally have them they need a little bit of like gravity has obviously like been doing its work against them whilst they were being like delivered so i think over time they will just look a lot more kind of like shapely they also have little ties on the bottom so i can like tie them into place so i think either like a natural textured coffee table maybe like a i would love my gray marble one from the living room to maybe work out here but i think it will be a bit too small but like a natural kind of like marble texture but not in a like a white marble because i think that would look too harsh or like a black coffee table i think would be gorgeous I'm excited to get a rug as well to maybe put down here i think the flooring in here is definitely going to be redone it just basically like when the sunlight hits in here it just bounces blue around at any point when it's not like glorious summer sunshine so it just makes the house feel a bit cold so yeah i think the floor will be redone at some point but that's fine because i will probably just do a continuation of my wood effect flooring throughout the house and it will match really nicely with these so it will just warm the room up a lot i think this will be a really beautiful place to sit when the weather is lovely we can look out at the garden and we have the sky light above so just a really nice little spot it's chilling and we can have the double doors open i brought my bim round because the zara packaging is real yeah we can like have the double doors open and like chill and look out over the garden and have a nice breeze i just think it's going to be a really lovely spot to sit in and it hasn't taken up the room too much whereas the sofa was just it took up this entire space so that is how it is looking in here i am very relieved i've been waiting for these chairs for the longest time and yeah buying two in hopes of filling the space was a real commitment on my behalf so i'm really really happy that it's worked out i also ordered something for this room last night i have got some new pendant lighting on the way it's going to be a little while oh my god i actually ordered so much stuff so i have wardrobes ordered and coming for this room i have a pendant light coming and then i just need a little rug for this room it's such a mess i've still got my charity stuff and stuff that needs to go back to ryan's like this rail but yeah i just need a little rug and i think a little kind of like stool to maybe go in the middle we'll polish it off perfectly and then maybe a mirror i'll talk to you about that more in an upcoming vlog when it all arrives but this will eventually we have decided become kind of like a storage and stairwell space so yeah that is very exciting so that is the reason why i never really wanted to commit too much to having like a full wardrobe room being redone in here because hopefully at some point in the next like 18 months to two years there will be like a full staircase going up in here and then i will be able to do dream walking wardrobe bedrooms upstairs bathroom hopefully so yeah i am very excited very excited for the little light that's going to go in here as well it's really cute it's like a tiny baby version of what is in my bedroom and i think that's going to be really cute yeah i'm feeling good i feel like things are starting to slot into place i finally have a plan for everywhere feeling very like settled and focused which is really really nice especially you know know like after renting for so so many years and always kind of being up in the air about where i'd be in the next like 18 months is actually nice to have like a, a proper plan so yeah that is so exciting so do let me know if you have any advice if you've renovated a bungalow and gone up into the roof i keep saying extended and people are like you're going out the back and i'm like no so yeah if you've gone up into your roof and you have a dormer like that kind of vibe let me know i did originally think that we might kind of do a very serious renovation on this house and i have very much been talked out of that because from the sounds of it i might as well buy a plot of land and start again so <laughs> that is not the vibe right now but yeah i'm really excited but if anyone has any like starting tips i'm getting some advice this weekend but from you guys i would love to know because obviously everyone has different experiences what would you do again without like second thought what would you like be like i would never do that that was a real mistake i would love to know so, yeah hopefully that all works out hello what do you think of the new chairs? You like them?
No, no, you like them. So I've just been sat in the new chairs for so long. I've had to drag myself away from them because otherwise I'm not getting anything done today. I've also just sent Lauren and Ryan pictures of the chairs and they both love them. Ryan actually used the word stunning, <laughs> which really made me laugh. So I think I'm going to leave this vlog here because the rest of my day is just basically reels and breaking down cardboard, which is so boring. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed just this little kind of like random homey vlog and a little life update from me. My head is just like swimming with all the kind of like new updates and developments in life at the moment. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the newness and hearing about what we've got planned. We are going to check out now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.